Hi, Chris Cavas here at Urinaval 2024. One of the major concerns of the past year has been defense against unmanned systems, both surface and aerial. And Talos, of course, one of the French giants, is working hard on this problem. With us today is re retired Vice Admiral Eric Chaperon, uh, former commander of the Charles de Gaulle Carrier Task Group, who is now a Naval Defense Advisor to Talos. Good morning, Admiral. Good morning. Nice meeting you. So, right here we've got we've got a radar behind you. What's what's this about? If you want to fight against a drone, the first condition is to detect them. And for that, you need systems, starting with radars. Not only you must detect them, but you must discriminate. Which means, do you have one drone, two drones, or 50 drones? Because the action you will take afterwards will be different. So the radar, the quality of the radar is key in that, uh, uh, in that respect. So this, uh, this radar, uh, developed by Thales, is providing that, that quality of uh, detection that will provide you that, uh, that uh, discrimination. What's, this di is, this what's is different about that, though? But this is a small radar. Is that, this, this is a small scale? display here this or is, is it bigger? Yeah. Okay, so it's a bigger is, radar. Yeah, it's, it's a bigger radar, but this is a four ASA uh, radar, which provide you the quality I was, uh, I, I was mentioning. Not only you need a radar, but you need a C2. Uh, uh, and, and then and we... Command and control. Command and control, uh, combat management system, and, and the uh, Tacticos, that is the, uh, the CMS uh, developed by Thales, is providing you that uh, capability with a specific uh, module that is dedicated to drone. And then, of course, you need the effectors. And this is what you have uh, behind, uh, behind us. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, what are we looking at here, sir? So we are looking to the, uh, to the effectors. Uh, and, and Thales is providing the full panoply of uh, effectors. When you are facing a drone, how can you deal with it? The first solution is to uh, jam the network, the link. And this is what we are providing here. This is part of a, of a, of a bigger uh, a program that is named Parade, uh -huh. and that has been experienced live in a real uh, sport event in, uh, in France. So Parade, jam, Parade. Jam the link. It, this is the first solution. Uh, and and if, you, if you do so, the drone will immediately freeze uh, or go back to, uh, to its starting uh, point. The second, the second option is, is this uh, weapon, which is also part of the program Parade, which means that has been experienced live uh, recently. You send energy uh, to the drone, and this will destroy the electronic of the drone. Uh, so the, the range currently is uh, um, if enough for land uh, parts, but we are working, in it, uh, working on it to increase the range so, so uh, it will be efficient in the naval domain as well. So the objective is to reach as far as possible the kilometer. And when we will have reached that uh, 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 range, it will be very efficient and very uh, interesting for the navies because uh, the characteristic of that is that every drone which is in the uh, area of, uh, the, uh, of this weapon will, follow, will, will uh, fall in one second. So this is really powerful, uh, very efficient. We just need to increase the range and we are working uh, on that. So, so this system is called E-TRAP. This is electromagnetic system. drone neutralization. You're displaying it in, in your video, you're showing it on a Mistral LHD amphibious ship. Has it been demonstrated at sea in a marine environment yet? No, not yet, not yet. Uh, this is something that we, we, uh, we have ahead of us. Uh, we are very confident because we know that we have the technology and uh, we will have the ability to increase, uh, to, to make that technology evolve so that we will reach the kilometer and even more, by the way. But the kilometer is what the Navy is expecting as fast as possible. OK, let's take a look at something more kinetic. Now we're standing in front of a model of a new rapid-fire naval gun, anti-air, anti-service defense gun system. Tell us about rapid-fire naval. So uh, if you want to destroy a drone, 
gun is a good solution as well. And we have developed with KNDS uh, this uh, naval uh, gun, uh, rapid fire, that is now operational, uh, deployed on the French Navy ship, uh, the uh, new uh, oiler, tanker of the, of the French Jacques Navy. Jacques Chevalier. Jacques Chevalier, that, that, that's it. And, and this is very efficient. Uh, so we are, uh, con of course, we continue to optimize uh, it. But uh, we, uh, we are very proud of that, uh, of that uh, weapon, which, according to us, fits very well with, the, uh, with that kind of, uh, of, of threat, because it is very precise, very fast, and, and uh, you, you can deal with quite a, a big number of, uh, of threats with that kind of, uh, of weapon. I believe five different kinds of ammunition at the moment. Yes, and this is something that we are working on to provide the uh, optimized set to uh, to the Navy uh, regarding the uh, the ammunition. Yes. All right. Now we have some missiles, lightweight multi-role missile, and 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 a, and a few more rockets and things. Tell us about LMM. Yes, uh, I told you that we had the full panoply. We have missiles as well, and you know that the challenge of missiles is that you must avoid to fire very expensive missiles on a low uh, price targets. Uh, and this is precisely what uh, that missile uh, comes with that advantage. Missile developed by, by, by Thales, that is named the LMM. Uh, the cost is, uh, uh, is, is low uh, and it's uh, very, uh, very adapted uh, to uh, drone warfare. So uh, this is something that we have experienced as well. We continue, of course, to, uh, to optimize it because it has been uh, developed for land warfare, so we have to adapt it to the naval environment, but this is what we are currently doing, uh, and, and this is very promising. Uh, so, once again, there is no solution that will fit any kind of situation. Sure. You need to have a kind of panoply. Missile is part of, the, uh, 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 of it, but rocket as well. And we are uh, providing this solution that uh, you can see uh, here, two kinds of rockets, uh, more dedicated to air, air, air threat, but you can uh, use them for uh, surface threat uh, as well. These, like the missiles, are coming from the, uh, the land domain, so uh, we have developed that for the land warfare, but we are adapting them to the naval environment. Uh, so this is, this is a, a full panoply. There is not one, just one thing maybe that we are not showcasing here, uh, is drone, because you can uh, fight against drones with drones themselves. And uh, uh, this is, uh, we have a drone that is part of the uh, Parade program uh, that, that is, uh, you know, uh, adapted to that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. And in the future, probably, we will see situation where a swarm of drones will fight against drones. Sure. This is not science fiction. It, it, it will happen. So, as I told you, uh, we have the full capability starting uh, with a radar, the C2, and, and then all the uh, existing uh, effectors uh, to face uh, that uh, situation. And probably all of them will be uh, either necessary or you know, um, uh, adapted for such or such situation. Can I ask about these, these weapons here, are they launched, can they be launched from existing naval systems, launch systems? These systems you have in front of you uh, are currently, uh, I would say differently. We work with, Nav with Naval Group that is developing uh, a universal launcher. Uh, they call it LMP, uh, Lanceur Modulaire Polyvalent. And these uh, uh, weapons, will be uh, integrated in that uh, LMP uh, system. They will be launched from it. So yes, we are working on, on, on that on the short uh, run. But at the same time, we have to work to, uh, as I said, navalize uh, this, if I may say so, which means adapt it to the naval environment and, and, and work on the issue of detection and acquisition. OK, merci beaucoup. We've been talking with Retired Vice Admiral Eric Chaperon, now Naval Advisor to the Talos Group. Thank you very much, sir. Very interesting. Mon plaisir. Merci beaucoup.